is this. It's the uh, Kitchen HQ Speed Grader. I own it in red. I also have a big food processor, which I use maybe no times a year anymore since I have this. Maybe once a year I'll use it. I might use it uh, for Thanksgiving, but probably not. It's too hard to clean. This is a mini food processor that sits on your counter. You don't have to plug anything in. When you buy it today, you have your choice in colors. It comes in red. That's the one I own. Blue, black. Uh, comes in rose gold and comes in gray. Everybody gets three of these stainless steel drums. This is for your large grape. This is for your slicing. That is for your fine grape. All you do is plug them in, screw it up. It suction cups down to any countertop and go to town. It is amazing to watch. And let me introduce you to my friend who uh, does this amazing demonstration. John Florell is standing by on Skype. I use it for, to be honest, I use it mostly for like toppings or coatings for chicken uh, or fish. Uh, but you can use it for anything, a variety of different things. Here's John to show you. John, the John Florell Show, everybody. Here we go. John, how are you guys? Good morning. Hey, buddy. I, I got to tell you, as far as speed grading or slicing, it's so simple. All you do is take your fruit, vegetable, meat, or cheese, put it in the top of the machine and turn the handle, and you can see you get uniform slices that come right out of the front of the machine. They fall into any salad bowl, frying pan, or measuring bowl that you put out front. It comes with this little pusher, too, that feeds it down to the end so you never waste anything. You can't cut yourself, but you can do just about anything with this machine. Slice carrots for canning, beets for pickling. You can make bread and butter pickles. Slice cucumbers for cucumber and onion salad. I'll tell you what, it does more work than those big electric heavy food processors, and all you do is turn the handle. If you want to make homemade potato chips or for the holidays, some sca homemade scalloped potatoes, all you do is put a potato on the top, turn the handle, and you get perfectly sliced potatoes for your scalloped potatoes. But you can also do smaller things, and this is only the slicing blade. I can take one radish, add it to a salad, slice perfectly over the top of a salad, or I can do an entire handful of radishes, load the, cap, the hopper up on the top, turn the handle, and I just did six radishes in seconds, and it comes out right in the bowl. But here's how easy it is to change this out, guy, and here's why this machine has become the number one selling kitchen gadget in the history of HSN. It's so versatile and easy to set up and clean. I just showed you the slicing drum. Here's your coarse grating drum. Here's your fine grating drum. I'm gonna switch it to the coarse grating drum and watch how easy this is because the handle has a little knob on the back. That's what attaches the drum inside. So when you turn the handle, it turns the drum. So all you're gonna do is unscrew that handle, put your other drum inside, attach the handle to the back, and then put whatever you like in the top. Potatoes for potato pancakes. You can grate hash brown potatoes. Uh, home fries, I'll tell you what, carrots, coconut, chocolate, you get perfect hash browns in seconds. How about zucchini for zucchini bread or homemade zucchini muffins? I mean, it does more work, and I'll tell you what I love about it more than anything. You see what's left? Absolutely nothing. What happens, I mean, that's just skin, right? Wouldn't you rather see this piece of skin than your piece of skin? I mean, if you have one of these old four-sided knuckle busters, you know what I'm talking about. When you get close to your fingers, you either need a manicure or a Band-Aid. But watch how quick and easy this is to set up. And I'm gonna move my camera over here so you guys can see this other machine that I've got. Watch this. All you're gonna do is take the handle off, the drum comes out. The entire top comes off the machine, easy to clean, dishwasher safe. Now, the base is where the magic happens because it's got a suction base. What you're gonna do is set it on any smooth countertop or tabletop, and then you're gonna turn this collar. That collar suctions it down to anything smooth. So a cutting board, a countertop, a kitchen table. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna take the pot, put it inside. You're gonna take whatever drum you wanna use. I'm gonna use a coarse grating drum. Put it inside, screw the handle on, lock it down on any countertop you like, and then take a salad bowl a frying pan, a measuring bowl, whatever you like, put it in front of the machine, put your cheese on the top for taco night, and all you do is turn the handle. And your fingers never get close to anything sharp because we give you this little pusher that feeds it down to the end so you never waste anything. And that entire eight ounce block of cheese was grated perfectly in about what? Five, six seconds? <laughs> it takes no time at all. 
Oh, get all fresh. I gotta show you this too. Yeah, keep going, John. I can just I'll watch this all day. Fries. I love it. When I'm yeah, home, this is this what I do. And Danny sits there, he's like, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I'm like, isn't it great? <laughs> For 24 bucks? Part I'm like, eggs. yeah. Egg salad, tuna fish, chicken salad. You wanna grate up some hard boiled eggs? I mean, what's great about it too, guy, is that you can grate your eggs into the salad, into a bowl and fry, and then mix your mayonnaise right in the same bowl. You can add your other ingredients. Maybe you want to add a jalapeno or grate a pickle into it. Uh, you can spice it up however you like and mix it right in the same bowl. So less dishes. But watch this. I can take an entire, here, here's three slices of fresh bread. Just jam it into the hopper in the top, turn the handle, and I got breadcrumbs for homemade wow. panko or for homemade stuffing. I mean, <laughs> it's such a cool machine. It does so much. Yeah. And you'll probably not even take out that big, heavy food process. No, I use it, John, when I make meatballs, that's exactly what I use. I, because there is oh, yeah. no there's no other way, even with a regular food process, really no other way to be able to get that kind of consistency with fresh bread. It gets very gummy. If you put it in a regular food process or it lumps up, that is the, really the way to do it because you've got that great control with your hand. If you want to order red, blue, black, rose gold, or the silver, uh, silver selling uh, best right now. Everyone gets three drums. Everyone is only $24.95. Uh, they have updated the base, so it's even stickier than it was before. So if you're worried about your countertops, just remember the only thing it probably won't stick to is on a wood countertop, but it's great on stainless. It's great on, uh, you know, any kind of a, a, a granite countertop or a regular countertop. It's ideal for that. Uh, if you want to get it for $4.95, get a brand new HSN credit card. We'll put $20 in account. By the way, those mats, buy them. All right, those are baking mats. You'll never have to use aluminum foil or spray again on your on your sheet pans. Those are awesome. We're gonna be putting a bunch of things up here on the side for you. Uh, but get it home with a $20 uh, gift card. You can use that on anything. I love it, uh, this machine. Basically, John and I have this in common because we have a contest who can come up with the best coating for chicken. Now, we both yeah. came up with, evenly, we both decided we love Cheez-Its, you know, the little cheese crackers. We put them in there and then we put those on chicken. I, I've just discovered, that I love just getting garlic and butter croutons in a bag and putting croutons in there. Anything, you could do Doritos in there. Whatever it is you love, you can turn into a breading for, for fish, for chicken, whatever it is that you want, and your kids will love it. It's amazing. Go ahead, yeah. John. And you know, guy, the kids can do this too. Yeah. I mean, I've got four bars of chocolate right here. I'm gonna put those in the top. And look at this. You can grate chocolate. Let get those awesome shavings here. Let me turn it just so you guys can see a little bit better here of what I'm doing. When I turn that handle, it grates the chocolate perfect for maybe it's a pie topping or ice cream sundae toppings. And one question I get all the time, what about nuts? Yeah, you can do almonds, walnuts, cashews. I've got some dry roast peanuts here. Here, I'll add some M&Ms to the top. Getting excited here because I love ice cream sundaes. But look at this. For cake toppings, for cupcake toppings, for pie toppings, for just an ice cream. The kids can make their own Sunday toppings, and it goes right into the bowl like this. But, guy, you can do so much with this machine. Here, let me change out the bowl here again. How about this? Change out. I'm going to I'm gonna take this drum out. I'm going to go to that fine grating drum because like, I haven't showed you guys this one yet. You're going to love this for your harder cheeses like Parmesan or Romano. You're also going to love this for doing things like here. I've got an entire stack of graham crackers. You can put graham crackers on the top of the machine and make homemade graham cracker crust. You can make Oreo cookie crust. Instead of a rolling pin and a bag on the countertop where you make a mess because when the bag breaks, it's been 30 minutes cleaning up afterwards. Look at this. In a matter of seconds, I've got perfect graham cracker crust or crumbs for crust. Or you can use Oreo cookies for an Oreo cookie crust. Guy, you mentioned making breadcrumbs for like a chicken dinner. We do that all the time. And I'll tell you what works great. You Listen, those Cheez-Its now, <laughs> you know, regular yes. Cheez-Its are great on chicken when you make a breading like this. But if you use the spicy ones, they have these hot and spicy. They've got jalapeno. They've got habanero. They've got all kinds of flavors now. You can spice up your chicken uh, your chicken dinner just by adding your own homemade breading to the chicken. And you can do this at home. You don't need a big heavy food processor. How about how about some uh, uh, ginger snaps for instead of uh, on a key lime pie, instead Ooh, of a, a yeah. Oreo cookie crust or a graham cracker crust, try some, try some 
I mean, ginger snap crust? Are you kidding me? It's amazing. And with all our holiday cooking coming up, even for, listen, if you're having an Italian Christmas this year and you want to do a whole bunch of uh, Parmesan cheese ahead yeah. of time, or maybe you can set this up on your kitchen table uh, or your dining room table and everybody can grate their cheese right there at the table yeah. for themselves. Fresh grated Look at that. Parmesan. And John, it's the only machine I know that grates soft uh, mozzarella. Which he has. Yes. I just want everybody to see. I've never seen another machine that can do soft, fresh mozzarella. It grated. Normally, you have to cut it and slice it. Watch this. Yeah. This is the last demo we'll yeah. do, but watch how cool. I just changed out the drum. Yeah. That's how fast it is. That is amazing. And this is, look at this. Here's a bottle of wet mozzarella cheese. Awesome. If you make homemade pizzas, you, you gotta have one of you these You gotta things. love it. Thanks All right. For the cheese. I mean, look at that. Beautiful, John. Great job as always. We appreciate you Skyping in. Uh, John just, he kills it on that machine. I love it. Uh, <laughs> grab it home for $24.95. Uh, Thank you, buddy. We'll see you again soon. Thanks, uh, re Remember, red, blue, uh, black. We have it in the rose gold. We have it in the gray. I love it. I know who else loves it. Valerie. Aw, what a guy. <laughs> you got to get this. Thanks, Valerie. Go back in your little cave now. There it goes. Oops. Look, like the witch from the house from the Wizard of Oz. But she's she's not a witch. <laughs> All right. Uh, 673 is the item number if you want to pick that up. Hey, really quick, you're probably noticing uh, our stainless steel uh, table. This is origami. I own one of these, and I am telling you, it is, it's an island kitchen. You can turn any kitchen into an island kitchen. I like this 